to you by Evan back once again with the long haul episode 26 of this I'm just doing I've been doing work overnight to the base so I'm just currently flattening out some ground on the with the with the ash so, but yeah just trying to make it look nice again it's a it's a lengthy process it and uh, it's but I have gotten all the the hatches upgrade to reinforce hill to the maxed out iron stage it's a so making progress on that and before i start well while i'm doing this with the rebar frame just kind of getting all this ground flattened out just give me a second while i pick out uh, pick up all these rebar frames really quickly um I have started doing the uh, foundation of the uh, second half of the base. Uh, that'll start coming along sometime in the future, but I do have uh, more stuff to finish out with the uh, with like the second floor. You know, at least get some walls around it and everything like that. And it'll be a you know, this is just an ongoing project. And then. Uh, yeah, not uh, once I get this all upgraded, it'll be it'll be a little bit, but um, before I do start it, I do have another project account I'm wanting to do, and you know, just give a little insight to it. We found this uh, not that crossroad over here. Like I died over at this crossroad where my old marker has, uh, there's a bank and a, and a passing gas that we raided. And, uh, I am joined by El Drago and one of my Twitch viewers, like, my very consistent Twitch viewers. And, uh, basically I'm thinking about doing a large-scale project. It's like, I don't know exactly what to build. It's like, all I know is, like, I was looking at it, the the grass over there is like well the ground over there is just very flattened and it's like be one of those it be you know that's kind of a perfect building space and be just kind of one of those projects where I would have to just kind of flatten out more ground well just kind of level the uh, the passing gas and everything like that and the and the bank to kind of because like okay you you see the foundation of this of this base it's like I'm like I'm not opposed to having even bigger bases here but well not bigger bases more bases and it's just kind of like I'm like let's just think of something that'd be fun to build and like you know just have a because, like, this is the long haul, after all. It is, and it's going to be my long-term series, you know. And then, the, you know, I keep saying this, but it's, like, it's meant to hold out till the, uh, the last, uh, well, basically hold us out till the last little bit of, well, till the, till the new console version drops, which will be Seven Days to Die 1.0, it'll... It'll be, uh, but, you know, I'll probably still come out to this world just to play it, you know, from time to time again, you know, have a, you just take a, take a little trip down memory lane, but it's like, this is going to be a long-term world. It's going to be, I really want it to have a, have a little bit of, uh, you just want to have some big projects on here and just have a good time. So yeah, let me just continue. Fin let me just finish out uh, flattening the ground here, and and um, I'll I'll catch up with you once uh, I've done some more upgrades to the base. Alrighty, YouTube. I've gotten done doing some more base upgrades on the. I started doing the second level here, you know, really started to just flush this out a little bit more, getting... Um, uh, once the, once the other area gets built up for uh, making more of the... 
you know, like, kind of gets actually built up. I'll make a bridge here, like, uh, it'll be, like, there'll be two bridges here. El Drago suggested, you know, because I didn't know what to do. I'm like, do I want to do, like, one center and centralized bridge, or do I want to do two? And it's like, I, and, you know, thanks to their help, they decided on two of them. Uh, working on more rebar frames, it's just, uh, you know, waiting for those to smelt up. And... You know, get more of the good stuff going. And, well, I'm thinking it's a little bit late in the day to go driving somewhere for, driving to an art town for some loot. But, it is, uh, I just realized it should be dog day. So, here in a little bit, there should be a a dog horn rolling in. Hopefully I don't get jump scared by it. <laughs> by, like, the last one, but... Oh, that was a fun little deal, but... I wanted to make some more bullet casings. I made a... I made a ton more, uh... Made a ton more... What do you call it? Well, it's like... I just wanted to get a bunch more of the... Good old, um... You know, I figured let's just get more of the the gun the uh, the gunpowder and all this going. Like, get some SMG ammo rolling. Like, there is a little POI that could at least raid for the time being. It's uh, it won't. It's it's a small one, but it's not too far away. Where like we could just drive over and take a look. I'm just coming over to grab the mini bike here really quickly because. Of course, you know, don't want to travel home and travel without it. You can see, though, it's like the base is just really kind of starting to come into its own. Like, once, uh, once the walls are up, it'll finally, you know, I can finally move in and have a, have a lot more of a, you know, have a, to finally have a big base just going. So, yeah. Uh, it, it's not too far out here. I just realized, like, I was wanting to make a a, tr a quick little trot over to Trayer Wrecked. Uh, well, we could still do that. It's just that I was wanting to bring some dukes with me. Yeah, I kept passing by this old place. It's like, it's a very tiny little loot. And there's a, well, actually, there's a house over here. But we can loot these couple places here. Um, got Charlie and his twin brother. Come here, big guy. There you go. We'll just take care of them really quickly. Come here. Sounds like we got a lady who wanted to have a word. Yes, it's just Penny. Mikey! Buddy! Come here. And... Take care of Penny really quick. There you go. Mikey's done. Thank you for the lead and the nail. And we'll just grab that. Yeah, so hopefully should have a... I'd have to check my gunpowder. See how that's all looking, but... We should have, like, once those casings are done, like, start being able to make a... Make a, uh, 900, uh... Well, like, 360 more rounds of ammunition. And I don't know, maybe after Horde Night, like, uh... All goes well, we can... We can go over and... Do a little raiding in Hub City. I know I've done several series where I try to go to Hub City and I wind up dying. You know, ending a series, it's like, you know, it's like, it'd be nice to take a raid over to Hub City. But case. Yeah, you can really see there's not much in here. Shotgun receiver, pistol parts, and iron reinforced club. We'll just scrap that down for iron. Well, let's actually just go over and hit up this house here. This... wait a minute. This house is a... No, way! I recognize this. I was like, wait a minute, this house looks a little unusual. Um... Alright, let's just take a little look. Read that for the flare work and we'll just... Some extra duct tape. Take it. Don't need that iron arrowhead, like, 
And I keep forgetting I should make steel steel arrowheads, like start and get the crossbow going again. Like probably because I have like stuff like the shotgun and the SMG and all this to keep you know, kinda keep me going and it's like But it doesn't mean like that I should just abandon the old uh crossbow. It's like so it's steel smith you know having steel arrowheads would do me a lot of good for making uh well for leveling up my weapon smithing. Come here. It's like we're just about in a green quality with the with this and everything like that. Oh, Bob, hello. How nice of you just to spawn in. Wish the This this has been happening fairly yeah, often on um on my co-op series with Fangs. It's one of those it's a Mikey, come on. Stop smacking. I don't want to do some smacking around here. Oh, shotgun schematic. I, no, shotgun slug schematic. Take it. But like I was saying, it's like, that's been happening a fair bit. Like, we're... We're raiding a place, and then suddenly with, uh... On the co-op series, and then, like, I'll just have zombies... Start spawning at me, and... And, um... It gets a little annoying, like... I'm like, I don't mind zombies spawning in, like... You know, and then coming after me, but it's like... I find it a little irritating when... Zombies, uh, decide... Decide to... They decide to, uh, just kind of magically spawn out of thin air. With me, and like, you know... Decide to kind of just, uh, you know... I like... It get... It's just kind of one of those of like, like zombies. I love you. Don't get me wrong, but you need to kind of like I, I prefer if you just not pull your pull your magic on me. Got curly boy coming on over. Must be upset that I broke into his office. Come here. Gotta watch him because he'll, he'll start smacking me around. Come on. There you go. Oh, sham sandwiches. There we go. Uh, okay. More, you know, more cloth and all that stuff. You know, lots of nice sands in this place. And well, I guess speak of steel arrows, and then then the game will provide. <laughs> well then, um, our bookcase in here, not not really much. The purse and more paper. What do you got for me? I scrapped the level 77 wrench down because I don't really. It's just one of those. It's like I'm, I'm like I can make better wrenches and and uh, you know get you know get a better result out of that. Let's actually break out here real quick and drop some loot in the mini bike. It's you know. I'm like, it won't do much in terms of quality levels, but I digress. It's a... I just... Where's that mini bike over here? Did I see a dog? I don't think so. I thought I saw like a... Like a brown... Brown streak zip by. Nah. We should be fine. I'm actually full up on loot. We'll just try to... Throw as much in as we can. Here, I Paul, I, I completely forgot from yesterday to uh, take care of the loot. Oh well. <laughs> no way's perfect. Can never. It's one of those. It's like no biggie. I'll get that taken care of once I go back to uh, go back to home base. Well, go back to Crackbook. There you go, Charlie. Oh, thank you for the thank you for the brass, good sir. And we'll just go stop up here, and there should be, I think, hopefully a gun safe hiding around here. Oh, we're doing either that was damage, or we're doing over 300 damage per 
per swing. Got a gun save in here. We'll we'll just break into this. So no, we're not doing we're not doing uh 300 damage yet. Some hunting rifle parts, pistol grip, and and then magnum frame. Um, let's just see here. We can actually put some parts together, just to you know, reduce the inventory clogging a little bit. But yeah, not not too bad of a raid. Got a couple book bags here. What do you got? Um, iron and more jars for murky water. And uh, nothing out of uh, the corpse up here. Uh, did I search you? Yeah. So yeah, well, let's uh, go. Uh, give me a second. I'll meet you over at the at Tree Rex. Alrighty, you two. We're Paha. We're pulling on up to your Tree Rex. I think he re. I'm pretty sure he's restocked. So figure we'll just check his uh, wares to see what he's got. Tree Rex, what do you have for me? Well, if you got money, I guess I can stand your smell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just check his general inventory first. Cloth gloves and all that. He's got... I think I saw those iron gloves last time. I think he's got more of the same old, same old in here, folks. Like... Oh, wait. I think he's... Kind of sorting through some of the... Inventory I've sold him over the journey, but... We'll just sell you that. Give you, give me some dukes at least, and we'll just check your secret stash. Oh hey, would you look at that? The the spike club schematic. I've actually been looking for that. So that means we got something to come purchase really quick. I was actually contemplating a. I was contemplating making a uh, barb club before. Because I'm like, and then I wound up making another iron reinforced club as an emergency item, but that's not the worst. Thanks, buddy. I think Trey Erect is a little, um, he's going a little loco because he's, uh, he's going a little cuckoo because, uh, I don't think he realizes that he lost money. Well, then again, he's probably just going to sell that leather duster I sold him, uh, for an extreme markup. But... Oh well, I wouldn't be surprised by Trey Rect with that. Um, YouTube, just give me a second while I while I go back to base, uh, go back to crack a book and uh, start sorting out with some. <laughs> start uh, sorting out some. Get some Duke sorted out. So give me a second. <laughs> okay, YouTube, I'm coming back over to Trey Rex. Hope here's hoping that I'm not a. Uh, I got because I grabbed as much stuff as I could to to sell the trigger wreck, and uh, I'm hoping that I can really get all the got all the dukes I need. Uh, hopefully, I'll take most of my leather dusters. Trigger wreck, I'm okay, back once again. Okay, fucker, you respect the shop rules, and we'll get along just fine. All right, trigger wreck, you can watch your language, buddy. This is why I don't like uh, coming over Trey Rick too much. You smell like the dead. You better have money. Yeah, yeah, Trey Rick. There you go. You can have most. Okay, yeah, he's not interested in that. We'll sell him a couple, a couple puffer coats. Got, and then we'll sell him that. And I'm just waiting oh, for let the door hit you on your way out. Just waiting for all that layer, layer to come out, and because we can just start selling all that for money, and because it'll it'll make a little bit. I w I did start making like uh, 359 millimeter rounds, so we'll be working on that. I have plenty of ammo for the SMG. You might have the rest of this. There you go. Not really too worried about. I'm getting trigger levels out of you at this stage. There we go. There. The Spike Club schematic uh, is red and it is officially unlocked. I am happy to see that going. So, 
We're up to 11 level smithing 40 because of that. Every every uh, schematic like that um schematics like the spike club and uh the crossbow schematic give you weapon smithing, but um surprisingly uh surprisingly the the hunting knife does not give you points. Like I remember like every day I was telling things about it, you know, like uh how uh, the the hunting knife doesn't give you a point of weapon smithing. He he was even surprised by that. He's like, wait a minute, doesn't? I'm like, no. It's just like you just read it. It's like, God, what it does with the hunting knife schematic? It's like the first time you get it, it's great because you have all the because then you have it unlocked. But then once you find it, to me at least, I'm just kind of like, let's just scrap it for paper. Don't need it anymore. But yeah, it's a. Looking pretty decent here. Uh, I'm going to, uh, because I mentioned steel arrowheads earlier, I did want to uh, start making steel and making those and, uh, you know, at least start, you know, just work on those. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to start, well, not going to throw that much wood into it because that, that's just going to start screamers like crazy. But I'm going to start making steel arrowheads here, folks, and do more resource collecting off camera, and uh, and uh, I'll let you know once it's about to get to nighttime, YouTube. Well, YouTube, it is almost nighttime. As you can see, I'm right on the edge of the wasteland here. Why, you may ask? Because I am just trying to get a ton of stone and sand for, for making more concrete. It's one of those... If I can get a ton of concrete, put a ton of this going, and uh, be careful with dogs and not die from it, I will be very happy. So it is almost nighttime, and I'm just gonna keep doing my thing. You can see here that my my pickaxe being level 600, it's doing a very good job at one-shotting. These blocks are only 100 hit points, and it makes it so efficient. It's way faster than a the uh, steel pickaxe. The steel pickaxe just swings way too slow. It's meant for like safes and all that and well I'm just gonna keep doing my thing here. Hope you all have a great day and take care.